All right, this is a review for the Roberts 12 inch vinyl tile cutter. I've been looking around and uh, this is probably the best price for a vinyl tile cutter that doesn't go over $100. Currently they sell it for about $25.99 at Menards. And basically what it is, is just a hard piece of plastic. Nice and sturdy, has some weight to it with two cutting blades. Now, I'll show you a closer look, but the cutting blades actually look like this, as you can see how the tile looks. So when you do push it down, it does hit that little bump. It's not as accurate as you might think it is, but it's, it's pretty straightforward if you have to do a lot of tile. Um, I'll show you how it cuts. It doesn't leave a straight edge on there, as you can see here. So this is a scrap piece that I'm using. I'm just going to tidy it up there. And you can see what I'm talking about. It actually hits the bottom blade right away. So you have to get past that hump. And well, I guess if you're doing a lot of tile, it's fine. You don't really need a straight edge against the wall. And I'll cut it down without getting in the way. You can go slow. It's really not that hard. You don't have to put much weight to it. What I have noticed is this top edge always came, comes a little jagged. The rest of it's pretty fine. You will get some worse looking ones like this one. Let's see if I can show you another one like this. Now I also tried using a blade. I bought this before I even tried it with the blade which I should have, because it's actually very easy. You, it's just like drywall. You score it and you snap it. So I'm not really making an accurate line here. If I did, I could. Find my blade. This is, uh, never find anything I need. I'll pause real quick. All right, found my blade. This may seem dirty, but it's actually a brand new piece of tile. So if I were to score a piece with a nice new blade, not even putting a lot of pressure, maybe all you need is maybe two, maybe one even, if you do the first one deep enough. And that leaves a really nice straight edge. I think I might return it. I haven't tried it on a vinyl plank tile, but we'll see it together right now. I have two vinyl tiles from, from Menards. One from Home Depot, Life Proof. Uh, this one's a little bit thinner. This one's considerably thicker. Now, if this cuts nicely with vinyl tile, maybe I'll keep it. But if not, I'll, I'll keep going with... Uh, with a razor blade. I have uh, worked on it before and the best thing to do is a jigsaw because this stuff can be pretty tough. It doesn't really snap. I will try snapping it maybe. So to go back to this, just as a reminder, it does hit that lip. Let me take my post-it off, put the notes on it. This one is actually, well, if you look up the skew, you should be able to see online. Is under four, about five millimeters, I think. Not sure. But we'll see how well it cuts. Now it does not go all the way to the bottom. Because it hits the blade because it's so thick. So this may be past the thickness. There's actually a maximum depth on it, which says, uh, four millimeters thick. Oh, there you go. So this might be too thick to cut. If you have a straight line, you can choke it up and go farther down maybe. It does show in the picture that it does do vinyl plank. So I'll give it a chance anyway. Because if I have the lines lined up, maybe I can choke up on from the bottom. Let me zoom out. Mm, I do not like the fact that I can't Get to the bottom though. I have to work on that later. But let's see. 
hose, you do have to put a lot more pressure on it. Well, it does leave a real nice straight line. I might keep it for that. Because it is a pain to cut and score with a blade. But for VCT, also does a good job, but again, it leaves a jagged edge. I have another one, which is way thicker, but it's quality. I like this stuff, Life Proof, from Home Depot. I'm going to give this one a shot. I'm going to nip the end off of it. Uh, again, there's no way this is going to fit into in here. It's so thick. But again, if you have your two score lines, you can follow that bottom blade. So let me give this a shot. Just putting constant weight on it. Oh. It's not working too well on this one. Honestly, I don't think it's going to work. Putting almost bottoming out on this. There I am bottoming out. Whew. And then again, it's soft on the bottom. So that might be hurting the its ability to cut. Try it upside down. Let's see if I can line it up right. Give it a fair chance. Oh god. Okay, that is not gonna work. Now this, this is way thicker. Thickness on this I cannot find, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's pretty thick. I'll leave a comment in the, or some notes down there on the thickness of the last life proof one compared to the other one. This one, I was kind of impressed. It did leave a straight line from, and again, you're probably gonna cover this up with molding, but the life proof stuff, no, I don't think so. Let's see if I can get you. So you can see the difference in thickness. You can see the life proof is way thicker. But it is a quality tile. I would like it, but maybe not. Because I don't know how, go, how, long, how much longer I'm going to live here. All right. So. If you're doing VCT and you're doing a lot, I guess you could get it. It doesn't leave a perfect line, but you shouldn't be able to see it. It may cut on time, but uh, if you're doing a small home project, it's not worth it. Razor blade is really easy. Score it, snap it, and you're done. For vinyl plank, you're definitely not going to be able to use it on the really thick life proof stuff. But something slightly thinner and with less with less, uh, underlayment. That padding that's really nice, that's comfortable. With less of it, it might cut better. So again, I'll leave. Uh, I'll try to leave in the comments the thicknesses of it, so you know, or maybe I can figure out how to put it into the digitally impose it on there. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. But it is nice and sturdy. It's well made. All right. Leave questions in the comments and I'll try to answer them for you.